Well, I said I'd be back with a full review of the Fear of God, Los Angeles Runner, and the Basketball. First up, I am doing the Basketball. Haven't yet tried on the Fear of God Runner just yet. I have it in Sesame. We got the Basketball in Carbon, and this is kind of an off-white color right here. It looks great. And we're just going to start with the superlatives here. The branding on the back, minuscule enough, not terribly intrusive. You see some... Nice shiny reflections here. A lot of this kind of recalls the Jordan 11. And then we have what we call a premium knit upper. Highly doubt this is knit. Yes, this is a rubber outsole. There, You can see that there, this is a bit of a shield, a guard. You do have less space in here. It's not all the way up. And clearly on the other side, you can see maybe a little bit better of an idea of where the footbed actually sits in here with the light strike midsole. It's easy to put on foot. It is. The neoprene right here, it's almost like climbing into a wetsuit, but it's stretchy. There's no need to untie. I've, you can work this out a bit of a ways. You pull here and it kind of gathers. It's an easy shoe to take on and off. That's about it. That is all I have good to say. It looks pretty. You can take it on and off. I'm beginning to figure this is more of an art piece than actual usable footwear. There is just too much going on in the side here. Very rough, obtrusive areas. I took these to go ball. Just walking down to the black top was hurting my ankles. And it is so loud. This is the loudest sneaker. Yes, with the Yeezy, the 350, you get a, a frictiony squeak. This, the, the loud rub is the crink of every material here. You can't sneak into anybody's house and rob them with these. That's for sure. If you're listening, fellas, bloods, whatever. I think that this is more of a rain shoe than a basketball shoe. Breathability, feet got hot. I was wearing my most comfortable socks to try to give these the benefit of the doubt. I could kind of jump in them. The footbed is not horrific. I'll say that much, but they're tight. Regardless, I went up half a size and too loose back here. Foot's just not really being held stable. They're, this is what happens when a fashion icon designs a basketball shoe that you're not going to see any guys use in the NBA. Now, I thought maybe with the herringbone, maybe we were actually going to be serious about this with balling. And I could kind of jump around, but I was so much more concerned about rolling an ankle or just the pain across. Look, if you have bony the ankles like me, rule this out completely. Don't even think about it. If you have a fatter ankle, you just might have the heft to try to be able to put up with some of the bullying you're going to experience inside of the sucker. Because this is the most uncomfortable basketball shoe I have yet to try. But it's easier to take on and off than most. So that's what I have to say about the Fear of God basketball. You see this, go running. You know, heed my warning. Unless you're you're heavy or you got a thicker ankle. Maybe you got big O shins. Like like cannons. I maybe the, maybe you can give this a shot, but yeah, maybe maybe uh I'm I, I, I can't wear these again. They kind of fit. And I knew as soon as I tried them on, as soon as I started walking, when I cut the, the tag, that I had instant regerts. So lesson learned, don't fall for a showy unboxing process, which even that in of itself will come to be a pain in the ass. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark, so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.